this video, we are going to do some numerical problems on application of partial derivatives in economics. Let us solve the first problem. In the solution, we will write down given production function q equals in the given production function, output q is a function of two independent variables k and l. q is a function of capital and labor which is equal to 96 k to the power 0 0.3 l to the power 0 0.7 we need to find the marginal physical product of capital which is denoted by m p p subscript k and marginal physical product of labor which is denoted by m p p subscript l let us first find the marginal physical product of capital the marginal physical product of capital is denoted by m p p subscript k now in the given production function output q is a function of two independent variables capital k and labor l now in order to find the marginal physical product of capital or marginal product of capital labor must be held constant that is only capital is allowed to vary while labor is held as constant in order to find the marginal physical product of capital while holding labor constant, we need to apply the mathematical concept of partial derivatives. The marginal physical product of capital or marginal product of capital, which is denoted by MPP subscript K is equal to do Q by do K. That is partial derivative of Q with respect to K, which is equal to partial derivative with respect to K of 96 k to the power 0 0.3 l to the power 0 0.7 using the constant times function rule the partial derivative with respect to k of 96 k to the power 0 0.3 times l to the power 0 0.7 is equal to 96 l to the power 0 0.7 times partial derivative with respect to k of k to the power 0 0.3 using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to k of k to the power 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.3 k to the power 0 0.3 minus 1 96 times 0 0.3 equals 28.8 l to the power 0 0.7 k to the power 0 0.3 minus 1 equals minus 0 0.7 by using the rules of exponent k to the power minus 0 0.7 can also be written as 1 by k to the power 0 0.7 therefore the marginal fiscal product of capital or marginal product of capital which is denoted by m p p subscript k is equal to partial derivative of q with respect to k which is equal to 28.8 l to the power 0 0.7 by k to the power 0 0.7 let us now find the marginal fiscal product of labor the marginal fiscal product of labor or marginal product of labor is denoted by m p p subscript l now in the given production function output q is a function of two independent variables capital k and labor l in order to find the marginal physical product of labor or marginal product of labor we need to hold capital as constant that is l is allowed to vary while capital is held constant so in order to find the marginal physical product of labor we need to find the derivative of q with respect to l while holding k as constant so in order to do this, we need to apply the mathematical tool of partial derivative. The marginal physical product of labor or marginal product of labor, which is denoted by MPP subscript L is equal to dou Q by dou L. That is partial derivative of Q with respect to L, which is equal to 
partial derivative with respect to L of 96 k to the power 0.3 L to the power 0.7. By using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to L of 96 k to the power 0.3 L to the power 0.7 is equal to 96 k to the power 0.3 times partial derivative with respect to L of L to the power 0.7. By using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to L of L to the power 0.7 is equal to 0.7 L to the power 0.7 minus 1. 96 times 0.7 is equal to 67.2 k to the power 0.3 l to the power 0.7 minus 1 is equal to minus 0.3 by using the rules of exponent l to the power minus 0.3 can also be written as 1 by L to the power 0 0.3. Therefore, the marginal fiscal product of labor or marginal product of labor, which is denoted by MPP subscript L, is equal to partial derivative of Q with respect to L is equal to 67.2 K to the power 0 0.3 by L to the power 0 0.3. Let us now proceed to solve problem 2. In the solution, we will write down given utility function u is a function of two independent variables x and y which is equal to x plus 2 to the power 2 times y plus 3 to the power 3. So u is the utility function and x and y are the quantities of the two commodities consumed. In sub question A, we need to find the marginal utility function of the two commodities x and y. Let us first find the marginal utility function of the commodity x. The marginal utility function of commodity x is denoted by mu subscript x. Now in the given utility function, u is a function of two independent variables x and y. In order to find the marginal utility of x, we need to hold y as constant. That is, we need to find the derivative of u with respect to x while holding y as constant. In order to do that, we need to apply the mathematical tool of partial derivative. The marginal utility function of commodity x denoted by mux is equal to dou u by dou x. That is, marginal utility of u with respect to x which is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of x plus 2 to the power 2 y plus 3 to the power 3 using the product rule the partial derivative with respect to x of the product of two functions x plus 2 holding square times y plus 3 holding cube is equal to the first function times partial derivative with respect to x of the second function plus the second function times partial derivative with respect to x of the first function. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as a constant. The partial derivative with respect to x of y plus 3 to the power 3 is equal to 0 plus y plus 3 holding cube. Now we do have a formula to find the partial derivative with respect to x of x raised to some power. However, we do not have a formula to find the partial derivative with respect to x of an expression raised to some power. So in this case, we need to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression x plus 2. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x plus 2, 
we can now find the partial derivative with respect to x of x square. The partial derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2x or 2x plus 2. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x plus 2, we need to again find the partial derivative with respect to x of the expression x plus 2. x plus 2 whole thing square times 0 equals 0 plus 2 x plus 2 y plus 3 whole thing cube times using the sum and difference rule the partial derivative with respect to x of x plus 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term. The partial derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 plus the partial derivative with respect to x of constant 2 is equal to 0. 1 plus 0 equals 1. Therefore, the marginal utility function of commodity x which is denoted by mu subscript x is equal to partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 2 within bracket x plus 2 y plus 3 holding cube. Let us now find the marginal utility function of commodity y. The marginal utility function of commodity y is denoted by mu subscript y. In the given utility function, u is a function of two independent variables x and y. In order to find the marginal utility of y, we need to treat x as constant. That is, we need to find the derivative of u with respect to y while holding x as constant. In order to do that, we need to apply the mathematical tool of partial derivative. The marginal utility function of commodity y, which is denoted by mu subscript y, is equal to dou u by dou y. That is partial derivative of u with respect to y, which is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of x plus 2 holding square y plus 3 holding cube. By using the product rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of the product of two functions x plus 2 holding square times y plus 3 holding cube is equal to the first function times partial derivative with respect to y of the second function plus the second function times partial derivative with respect to y of the first function. Now we do have a formula to find the partial derivative with respect to y of y raised to some power. However, we do not have a formula to find the partial derivative of y of an expression raised to some power. So in this case, we need to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that y is equal to the expression y plus 3. By doing so, we can now find the partial derivative with respect to y of y cube. The partial derivative with respect to y of y cube is equal to 3 y or y plus 3 square. Now since we have assumed that y is equal to the expression y plus 3, we need to again find the partial derivative with respect to y of the expression y plus 3 plus y plus 3 whole thing cube. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. The partial derivative with respect to y of x plus 2 holding square is equal to 0. 3 x plus 2 holding square y plus 3 holding square. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of y plus 3 is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of y plus partial derivative with respect to y of 3 plus y plus 3 holding cube times 0 equals 0. The partial derivative with respect to y of y is equal to 1 plus the partial derivative with respect to y of constant 3 is equal to 0. 
1 plus 0 equals 1, 3, x plus 2, whole thing square, y plus 3, whole thing square. Therefore, the marginal utility function of commodity y, which is denoted by mu subscript y, is equal to partial derivative of u with respect to y, which is equal to 3, x plus 2, whole thing square, y plus 3, whole thing square. Let us now proceed to solve sub-question B. Find the value of the marginal utility of the first commodity when three units of each commodity are consumed. That is, we need to find the marginal utility of commodity X when three units of commodity X and commodity Y are consumed. Now, the marginal utility of commodity X denoted by MUX is equal to 2 within bracket x plus 2 y plus 3 holding cube so i'm going to write down here 2 x plus 2 y plus 3 holding cube so we are going to substitute the value of x equals 3 and y equals 3 in the marginal utility function 2 wooden bracket 3 plus 2 wooden bracket 3 plus 3 holding cube 2 3 plus 2 equals 5 3 plus 3 equals 6 to the power 3 2 times 5 equals 10 6 to the power 3 equals 216 216 times 10 equals 2160 therefore the marginal utility of commodity x when 3 units of commodity x and commodity y are consumed is equal to 2160 utils.